All right, folks, let's get real for a second. Picture this. You're sitting at your trading desk, eyes glued to the screen, and the perfect setup is staring you down. It's right there, like the trading gods have finally smiled on you. The indicators are flashing, the trend lines are crisp, and uh, you're ready to pull the trigger. But wait, should you uh, check one more indicator? Maybe shift to a different time frame? Hold on, what if there's a news drop lurking around the corner? Five minutes later, that setup, gone, vanished, like a ghost trade that never existed. And now you're sitting there like, what just happened? Well, I'll tell you what happened. Overthinking happened. That silent, sneaky assassin just waltzed in and stole your trade right out from under you. Oh, by the way, if that sounds like you, smash that like button and drop a comment telling me how overthinking has messed up your trades. I know you've been there, because trust me, we all have. This is Alex from Edge Forex. Let's break it down. Overthinking isn't just some quirky habit we can laugh off. It's a mental chokehold, squeezing the life out of your trading. You might think, I'm just being careful, or I'm trying to make the best decision. But here's the truth. You're freezing, my friend. You're standing still while the market keeps moving. It's like you're standing on the edge of a pool, dipping your toe in while everyone else is out there doing cannonballs and backflips. And spoiler alert, the market does not wait for you. It moves on like, yeah, good luck with that analysis. Oh, and while you're sitting there thinking about it, why not hit that subscribe button? If you want more of these brutal truths about trading, you don't want to miss future episodes. So why do we get stuck in this loop? Why do we sit there watching opportunities disappear like they're in a magic show? It's because the brain is a bit of a jerk, especially when money is involved. You know what I mean? Your brain goes into overdrive, convincing you that just one more confirmation will magically solve everything. Guess what? There's no magical answer. And if you're out there thinking, yep, that's me, then comment below and let me know what you overanalyze the most. Is it your indicators, the time frame, the news? I want to hear it. Let's not sugarcoat this. Overthinking is like a silent ninja sneaking into your mind and sabotaging your trades before they even get a chance to breathe. You might think it's harmless, just being cautious, right? Wrong. It's more like you're accidentally throwing a wrench into your own trading machine. And who's the one fixing that? Not me, it's you. Every moment you're overanalyzing, the market is leaving you behind. Every time you sit there debating your next move, guess what happens? Opportunity gone just like that. And hey, if you've missed out on a trade because of this very thing, hit that like button. Let's all feel this pain together. You ever been stuck in the land of indecision? Too much analysis leads to, what, inaction. You're caught between two minds, frozen in place, while the market just cruises on by. It's like watching your bus drive off as you're still fumbling for your wallet. Oh, and let's talk about mental exhaustion. You ever feel like you're more tired after a day of overanalyzing than actually trading? That's because overthinking drains your brain power like a phone on 1%. And you know what happens when you're tired. Your judgment goes right out the window. And suddenly you're making emotional trades, trying to get back at the market. Let's just say that doesn't end well. How to kill overthinking before it kills your account. Now, I know what you're thinking. Okay, smart guy, how do I stop overthinking? Don't worry, I got you. First off, you got to trust your strategy. Yeah, I know. Easier said than done, right? But if you've put in the work, if you've back-tested and refined your approach, then trust it. If your setup hits all your criteria, just pull the trigger. Don't sit there waiting for the sky to part and a trading angel to whisper, now's the time, my child. No, just hit the button. And hey, if this is hitting home for you, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode where we'll dive even deeper into mastering your trading psychology. Okay, let's keep it rolling. You need to set clear rules. Like really clear. Think of it as giving yourself no wiggle room. Ambiguity is the enemy. If you leave the door open for overthinking, it'll stroll in like it owns the place. When your trade hits the criteria, you act. No what-ifs, no maybes. Oh, and here's another gem. Limit your information. Seriously, cut down on the noise. You don't need to read every blog, check every tweet, or pull up a million charts. The more info you flood yourself with, the more you'll doubt your own strategy. Stick to the essentials. By the way, if this info overload thing has ever gotten the best of you, hit the like button and let me know in the comments. You're not alone on that one. Trust me. All right, traders, let me leave you with this. Overthinking in trading is like trying to steer a ship while sitting in a rocking chair. Sure, there's a lot of movement, but 
Are you getting anywhere? Not really. The market rewards those who make decisive, strategic moves, not the ones who are paralyzed by endless analysis. So are you ready to kill overthinking before it kills your account? Because you know what? The only thing standing between you and that winning trade is your own brain. Don't let that silent assassin overthinking steal your next opportunity. And before I go, don't forget to subscribe, like, and drop a comment if this hit home for you today. Let's silence that inner critic, master our minds, and start trading like we mean it. Thanks for tuning in, folks. As always, stay sharp, stay decisive, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Happy trading.